Break door, break door, break door for me, break door for me. Dude. Break door for me so they don't know I'm on this side? Has to be fucking genius. Because look, she's planting because she hears them breaking the door but knows that they're... The last two there, last two there. Chill, relax, let me go flank. Let me go flank, you guys stay. That's fine, that's fine. Chill, you relax, let flank. me go flank, you guys stay? You're good, you're good, just chill. Let me take next. Wow. Wow. This is actually the most insane round I've ever seen. Like, they're not gonna... Yeah, he gets a free kill. He whiffed? That's statistically a free kill. He got four bullets off. Fuck, man. I mean, I don't... Sinatra's just too fight. clean. Yeah, Asuna has to win that fight. Dude, he wins that fight. He played actually a perfect round of Valorant. I guess maybe I just... Wow, I want to watch this back. So watch. So here he rushes out to play with Xander because Xander's stuck on site. So he rushes out to play to hold. Okay. He comes out, gets the trade. Very important first kill. But now he can't hold the site. Xander's already dead. We're 70 HP. So we cancel. Right? We're like, okay, bad. Thanks for some info. Just no so far. D, this is so heads up. Come cat, come cat. He calls Killjoy over cat too. So they can double clear it. He's going first because he's lower HP. Break door, break door, break door for me, break door for me. This is crazy. And now there's like no fight he can get that's advantageous. Because he's 70 Chill. HP. Relax. Let me go flank. Let me go flank. You guys stay. Bro. That's fine. That's fine. He can't. This is this is actually criminal. This is criminal. He's looking tree, okay? Sofa's looking tree. We barely miss. Bam. The Sinatra's so fast. I have to do that acid of odd. It's a KO VOD because Asuna like personally requested I review this one. He was like, Hooch, I just played the most insane game of all time and you should review it. Like he just straight up told me. So anyways, apparently he drops a 45 bomb. <laughs> so we know that much. Avoid any other spoilers if you know any, okay? Because I have not spoiled myself. By the way, shout out to Asuna's streams. If you've been looking for like a player to watch, um, I highly recommend them. He's actually been very, very, very vocal about his thought process between rounds and like introspective. And I think it's fascinating. Like, you know how some players will pretend like the game is all just W key or whatever. Like, you know, that tens clip. Oh, I'm learning. I'm improving as a player or whatever. I hate that clip. I hate that clip. Anyways, Asuna is actually like talking about the actual game. Like he'd, he'd like lurk and he'd be like, oh, I let one guy pass because I thought the second guy wouldn't re-clear and I'd be able to get one turn around kill this dude. And I'm like, oh, he's actually talking about the real way people think about the game. It's it was like refreshing. So check him out. 45 burn versus Sabrosa Sinatra. Oh yeah, he's playing against some real players, dude. This is a serious match. Oh great. <laughs> Let me boot up Valorant. Like of course. Of course we there's gonna be tech. Give me a moment. So he's somewhere over here. Let's see, I think he's on this barrel, but I double check. Yes. And he's crouched. So when I crouch, I can see that big rectangular brick. He is crouched. He's crouched. He's aiming just here. I'm guessing it's just a slow A knife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. He probably doesn't want it to land up here. He probably wants it to land down here. So I'm probably not hitting it. Let's try aiming closer to the thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the knife he's throwing. Let me just quickly shoot and you crouch so it's landing here and you'll notice that from down here you can't really you can't see it additionally this wall is not penetrable with medium pen i believe heavy pen can i thought there was a way heavy pen could break it no oh it's right here yeah so like Technically, if the enemy jet is updrafted here at the start of the round and has a sheriff, then I believe this knife is breakable. I think we all agree that that's the most ridiculous premise of all time, right? I think you want it actually a bit to the right, yeah? It's actually... There's like a sweet spot where it won't touch that wall instead of land inside, right? Yeah, that, that's where you want it. Okay. 
So be careful. Don't aim it along this middle bit. Aim it to here. The bit to the right of it. And then you just left click. And now... Yeah, nothing can ever break that. Not even the jet up here can break it because it's landing too deep. You see? Okay. So you want it a bit to the right of this line here. He doesn't even throw it. <laughs> it's weird he doesn't buy stinger. Oh, great. Great. His eyes are looking at the bottom of his monitor. So it's some HUD element. I'm just trying to figure out which one. No, I'm not listening to you guys because you always just guess. Yeah, it's going to be an unbreakable B main knife. And so I'm pretty sure this one's actually really forgiving. So let me try just aiming it up this way. Yeah, that's going to be fine. So there is a very precise way to line it up, which I don't even think matters at all. And so, yeah, we're going to aim below this leaf. Zendikar wins. Three points to Zendikar. And the leaf is very noticeable. Notice there's this different color. It's just right here. And that's getting you all you need. No, who's my eyes can't see color correctly? Oh, I've got you. Color blind support coming in. So you're going to aim up like into this region. Okay. See this open blue. Just aim up here. And then you see this white gap. You tip of the flash goes with it. That might look hard, but watch. Watch. Look at the tip of my flash. Bam. There it is right there. You see that white gap? Color blind solved. It's this gap right here. Bam. My next about land. landing. All four, all four and then uh, tiles. Four and tiles. Sorry, three more there in tiles. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I killed where I'm here. I'm here. Damn, we're vocal. Oh, uh, no. Uh, went through, went through. He's, he's in. He's in. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, yeah. Don't, no. God, he's so good. Okay. So, this is a common trick that Omen players may use to try and get out lane. They throw the smoke to deny your vision from stairs and CT. And so that's why he chose to throw the nade because you, you want to use the nade not to stall here, right? You want to use it to split up and get kills. Stalling is worthless at this point because we're all here. So he throws the nade because he realizes one of them is out. He's splitting them up. He's in. He's in. Ow, ow, ow. So now he realizes there's a timing oh, yeah. window where that guy is lane and we are behind. So we're going to get a kill. And then he flashes lane like he's going to peek it. But he knows Killjoy can be main. And now he's going to come out towards B main to try and catch her off guard. I think it's a bit over ambitious of him at this point. It's 4v2. If I was Asuna, I think it'd be smarter for him to back up now towards stairs. Unless he knew she had a bulldog, which she does. In which case, he's the goat. There's a trusty knife. I think you sense very rarely. My knife's gonna land that B. Nothing. Yeah. Another KO was sent out already. Asuna requested this one, yeah. That's that's that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so again, look at the nade timing. Let's watch it again. Nothing. So he gets caught over here. And so th this is this is tough because if you're in this position in like a platinum game, I'm probably calling your nade bad. Um, if, if you just if you just nade willy nilly, the nade can be good because you're stuck. But anyways, the idea is Asuna's stuck. The enemy team's going to push this because people who get stuck like this are like weak. So he knows they're going to push. And so he throws the nade to counter that push. Um, if he was like over here still, like let's say he jiggled like this and didn't get pushed, he might pull his nade out, but he's not going to throw it right away. It's a bit different, but because he's stuck, he throws it right away over here. That makes sense. And then he does get lucky that the jet dashes through. Because now the jet's split that's up. That's that's
Oh, that's tech. Okay. So he sees this Sova positioning to throw a recon for a main. And so we're going to throw a flash that pops right near that recon. So they can't shoot the recon. That's basically what he's going for here. Because he wants them to turn around. Is that worth? Don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's the idea because nobody else is pushing. And he's intentionally throwing this flash that's like, it's not really a lineup. He's throwing it super high. I want you to see that. He's throwing it like in a way. He had this lineup for like his team aggressing a main. And he's like, oh no, I'm not going to use that lineup. And I'm pretty sure the reason is because he wants them to see it coming so they look away. I think he wants them to see that flash coming and do this to the Darlands. Brokatar's info as well. Not on a sense, it's not. On a sense, the the way you always like assume the enemy's playing is one, three, one at the start of the round. So as far as we're concerned, that dart will always get broken. It doesn't tell us anything. It doesn't tell us if they have more than one guy. It could just be their smoke smokes player defaulting a main, you know? Or they could just be hiding from it if it doesn't tag anything. So the only time where that dart is valuable, I don't like the dart. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the only time the dart's valuable is if it scans and it reveals like more than one dude. Because like if it scans, it reveals Omen, doesn't tell us anything. Everyone else could be hiding. Although that'd be pretty tricky of them. Uh, I'm not a fan. Wow. He knows exactly how to throw this flash. Cause he does not even look away. <laughs> I think this just requires practice. I don't think there's a lineup for this. I think he just knows, knows where it is. Oops. A left click flat? No, it's right. God. Yeah, have fun with that one, KO players. He does this in one smooth motion, dude. I think the trick is this guy plays a lot of fucking KO. Just after you throw it, you have to like sort of back up peek with it. Let me see how he does it fluidly. Wow, he's so fast. Really? The moment he throws it, he's already walking left. Do you see this? Because the idea is from wherever you throw it, you have to be d closer to this back wall as it pops. Just so he. Oh! Oh! I got it there. I got it there. Okay. That's the flash. This one's just going to require you to practice. This is very important that you don't miss this. Uh, the one market. I can flash for you, Jet. Flashing. Flash. Three, two, one, pop. Spike down. <laughs> Last player standing. Spike planted. Up. What? I can flash for you, Jet. Flashing three. Damn, he's fast. Guys, it pops up here. So it's a running jump throw. Not like that. <laughs> this guy's got so much heck in custom time. Okay. Run. Jump. Does I look like Frodo from Lord of the Rings? Okay, he's like always starting tree. He like enjoys starting in this area, so we're gonna highlight it. Okay. So here, Jek has two kills, and it's pretty common for duelist players at this point to dash forwards and peak CT on timing. Okay? This happens. I'm sure you've been there. So I want you to see what Asuna does. First, he's gone out, but then he's like, okay, no, she might peek me. And so he knives close, but look what he does as he knives close. He doesn't just keep walking forwards because this Jet can come out of the smoke and fight him right now. So as he knives, he comes into cover to give his knife time to cook. They're not close. Bet. It's very minor, but um, I see players make this mistake all the time in these lower ranks. Like, you'll throw the knife and you'll just walk forward, and you, the dude will just, like, walk out and kill you. And I'll be like, what are you doing? Like, you know they might be close, so he knives, waits, and then he comes out. It, it makes a lot more sense. they are stacking more heavily towards Beam. Because uh, Beam's been a problem, and they've got Killjoy ult. Suppress. 
Spike down B. Last player standing. Damn. Okay. So what he's going for here is everyone's made contact. And so he gives away his location, mark it. So the enemy team who's been like tracking agent locations know that all of them are playing B. And then he's rapping super fast. I think he probably needs to get vocal about this rap, but I don't know. I don't think there's much he can do. He wants his teammates to try and stall them B main because he's going to get behind here. But it doesn't matter. He might get one for free. And he gets a gun, which is huge. He does get one for free. I think the brother's ready for this. Damn, supposedly just runs fucking A. Thirty seconds left. <laughs> nah, that's awesome better. That's awesome better. Reyna there, Sova there. Three suppressed. Omen killed by Reyna. Just that. Three more there. Four there. Yeah. Okay, this is actually really important. I've seen enough VODs that I know most like lower rated KO players here are looking to flash or or nade or something. And it makes you too slow. This happened to me a lot during the tier three swift plays I ran where I would play duelist and I'd go out and I'd be like, where were you? And they'd be like, oh, I was using ability or some shit. It's like here he sees his jet has a line. She's fighting his Sova peeking out gonna fight. So we don't have time. We don't have time to do anything. We're going to come out and we're going to fight. And three guns is is great. It's super strong. Enemy team, they don't have a pop flash. It, it's lit. He's looking at his minimap right now because we're minimap refrag. Makes sense. So he's figuring out where we need to aim our crosshair to shoot this killjoy. And so when we come out, you'll notice he was aimed for this killjoy. His crosshairs already started moving a bit to the left because he realized Killjoy died already. And so now we're aiming for the omen. Wait, don't over rotate the maybe. Actually, I might over rotate. Over -rotate. Yeah, nice, very forgiving. There, he aimed it like way higher than he normally does. One coming back. One coming back to me. Okay, so you might be wondering why he's aiming for the high wall or the close wall and not the far wall. It's because he hears right there. He heard Reyna scale up close wall tiles. And so he aims at head height for her. One coming back to me. Damn. Omen and the silver there. Yeah. And so here now you see him look top mid because he worries that it might be like a default. Notice Killjoy has not been spotted. Omen, Sova, main, Reyna, tiles. Where the f is Killjoy? Might be uh 131, you know, or like 113 or something. So he looks top mid. But then bam, a kill happens. He glances to the top right. Sees that Killjoy is dead and is like, oh, okay. It'd be main. Why is he not afraid of top mid? What do you mean? Killjoy died when he went out. You mean here? His First of all, he kind of glanced at it. Second of all, he's moving laterally to it. Third of all, his jet was looking top mid for a little bit. One coming back. One coming back. But even if his jet's not looking top mid for a bit, this is a totally acceptable timing. It's totally fine to come out like this. Okay? Like, totally fine. Even if there is a guy top mid. Mostly because we know that, like, the timing-wise, it doesn't make sense. Okay? Like... Play, but we saw at least two B main, which means at most it's three one one, and in a three one one with one mid, the one would not be top mid. So let's say you're putting three B main because that's what it looks like right now. So a three one one isn't gonna look like this. You know why? Because these these two dudes are like too far away from the B players. When you when you're three one oneing, your one mid player is gonna be tile side to be closer to them, and then you'll have this lurker in this like box yeah but this dude's not gonna come way over here because they're not gonna scale up this way that's not their job you know what their job is we we watched an immortal omen vod recently went up on the youtube their job is to make sure the enemy team doesn't worm their way into a main because if we cancel and come up tiles to hit a we need to have control of this a main space and so if 
we are 311 and we have a player over here, they're more likely carefully collecting info A, like silently jumping up here, spotting, maybe jiggling, silent jump spotting, something patient. It's unlikely that they're over here in a 311 configuration. I knifed uh, A. I'll clear A late, Xander. So it'll be fine. Flashing three, two, one, pop. <laughs> he threw the wrong flash. Look at him. Planning. <laughs> Flashing three, two, one, pop. Sometimes you gotta remember they're human, you know. Blinded, I'm a flash. He's gonna win this Rain round somehow. Side, like this, he's gonna hit some crazy freaking shots and win the round. I'm close, Rain up back side. Dude, his pre-aim is so good. Rain okay. Backside, uh, all three, I think. So watch him pre-aim for stairs Rain first, backside. right here. Bam. Now watch this. Do you see? He's not even fucking. Wow. I think he might be. I think that might be a crosshair line off. I don't know what he did for stairs, but then he came way over here and he aimed at he yeah, has this height. Wow, and he comes out. I don't think it's a lineup, but the pre-aim is so tight because he pre-fired right here. And he pre-aims over here and comes out. No, yeah, that's experience of pre-aim. It's not a lineup. Right I can like, tell pretty quickly. Uh, I'm, I'm right now. It's like a lineup. It's not. It's not. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about why he naded on this timing because I'm sure you're already wondering because you're like, Hooge, why is he nading to stall if they've got kill drill for the retake and they're not even out yet? Look, uh, I'm flash. I'm nothing right now. So we heard Jet updrafted over. The Omen flash came here. Okay. This is an A rush. A rush. Reina I No. He nades before that Reina I comes out. Okay. But all of the signs are here that this is an A rush. They've already burned Omen flash for close guy. Jet updrafts over this thing and dashes this way to come out super fast. This is like the plus one timing. Like. 30 seconds left. You Keep only do this when you're five stack. You hear Reyna I? Reyna I'd A main. A main here. here. He's not like waiting for Reyna I to throw his thing. Th this updraft and dash is more than enough to tell us that she's coming out like now. She's rushing. Um, You'll frequently do this, especially if you think there's an op A main. Like if, if you can call this in your games and you can, like if you're playing Jet especially, if you actually can confidently go this fast and you know that Opera likes to play here, um, you're just going to kill them. That's what's going on. He hears that dash and he knows that they're rushing. So that's why he's allowed to throw this nade earlier than feels correct to like an untrained eye. Okay. But he, they, he knows that they're five stack rushing. This nade is fine. And now you'll notice his teammate is on site playing like dice. And so we, we try to come out to hold with them because we need to match intentions with our teammate. This is all good. This round's really good. Where hell's our dice guy? There, oh, they were smoking. <laughs> nice hovel, bro. That smokes. Interesting from Xander. Not sure I agree with it. It's not good. It's not good. He's on top. On top. Oh my god. He's still on top. If I drop. Okay. So we pretty much just played tree. It was a very calm defensive half. We start here. We play this nade against fast rushes. We didn't have to deal with many rushes though. And he fights. Fights for this area with when he's got a teammate on site, which is pretty frequent because he's duo with Xander. And Xander's playing Omen. And Xander likes to play to hold A. Because most good omens do. So this is actually a very simple defensive playbook, you know? We're mostly just playing tree. We've got a knife for B, a knife for A. And it's actually a bit different from what we saw in the Jonah Pivot, because Jonah P likes playing over here a bit. So nice to see the stylistic change. We saw this retake flash. This was nice. Uh, the B retakes, there was one round he did come market. I can't really justify that to you other than it just felt right to him because he wanted to make presence and try to fake this flank. Um, it, it's a dynamic game. There's no like flowcharty reason why he did it that round, but he's just, he's mixing it up with like another strong option, basically. Okay, attack. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the easy one. This one's a gimme. Mississippi to Mississippi, knifing now. Okay, well, fine. Count to three. Omen, omen, omen. 
Okay, we count to three. Knife attacks all men. I'm guessing he's giving them time to cross. Because if he knives right away, they might change their mind. Talk's coming in on Jen. On Jen hitting you. Drone tag. Okay. Killzer doesn't know. Talk's coming in on Jen. On Jen hitting you. She's already in the safe spot. But in case you don't know, it's right here. This is the only safe spot. The only one. Anywhere over here, you're dead. You're dead. Anywhere hell, you're dead. You're dead. Uh, over here, you're only dead if the enemy Silva knows what they're doing. But I mean, we're in high radiant in this VOD. Right here, crouched, you are not dead. Only way you're dead now is if they actually come out like this and shoot you. Which they might. They might. But I mean, they'd be way out in the open, so... This is the only place you can live from, like, a spam. Yeah, notice oh, while he's dead, he's still hey, playing the game. Notice Asuna is playing Sherlock Holmes right now, okay? He's tracking locations of the enemies. Because he wants to be able to give the call out to his teammates. Also, yes, I saw the wall bank chat, but the door was closed, so it's different. Scenario Sova's heaven. Eight bullets, eight bullets. Now he knows there's Killjoy and there's Reyna. So he gives the all three call to Xander, who might not be aware of that because Xander's looking at his crosshair, you know? And now apparently Asuna's just about to drop 34 kills. <laughs> and win the game. <laughs> That's a neat knife. Wow, they broke it? That is psychotic behavior. That's actually psychotic behavior from whoever broke it. No, because he's throwing the knife up here. So this dude straight up went, oh, bet. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's the type of play you only make when you've seen that knife a million times and you like have broken it a million times. So I'm guessing this is one of the enemy pro players because <laughs> I can't imagine a solo queue Andy breaking that knife. Flashing three, two, one pop. Yeah, Sabrosa's here. And Sabrosa's the one with the Spectre. Notice um, our Jet is the enemy Jet, the one with the Sheriff. The enemy Omen must have the Spectre then. And the, Omen, the Spectre's what broke the knife. Like, that's how I, I called that it was one of the pro players that broke it. Yeah, I'll show the flash for the round. Damn. Not going Super Saiyan yet. So he's coming into this corner and he's aiming at it there. Yeah. This one's a classic. Pretty much the same offensive base set as Jonah P analysis. Now Jonah P have way more. Ooh, that's a neat knife. Okay, so this is scouting for like a B main walk. They won't break this knife. They won't break this knife. Okay, I see what we've lined up. Let me throw this. It won't break this knife, eh? I'm guessing it's landing up here. Yep. He's lining up this way, and then he's lining up this. Uh, I'll just put it in the heckin' playbook. One sec. This, this, one's, this one's not easy. But you can see it now, right? And this one is standing flush. Damn, he had the read too. Oh yeah, I'm flashing that spawn. Oh. Jess and Killjoy. I can flash spawn if you guys want to pick it. I think so. Flashing spawn, three, two, one, pop. Bro, what? And Killjoy. Okay, so. He carries the bomb on the protocol where he's going to KO ult out on the site. And so he prepped a lineup from spammable. Because he gets into this position a lot because he plants the bomb. I can flash spawn if he has one. Notice he also makes sure to wedge it into the corner. He's really like sweating right now because the bomb goes in the direction you face. He remembers to wedge it in. Love that. And then he's aiming. Aiming like here and he runs jump throws. 
Yeah. Flash. <laughs> Pop. I have your spawn. I have your spawn, Jack. Please, come around, guys. Damn, he's try hard. I have your spawn jet. Give me this guy on my fucking team, dude. I gotta climb. I gotta uh, earn sorry, this guy as my teammate. Okay, I can flash. I'm gonna flash. Oh, Lear. He's on spawn. I'm flashing. Three, two, one, pop. He's got two flashes from this plant spot? Okay, I can flash. I'm gonna flash. Oh, Lear. He's on spawn. I'm flashing. Okay, this one's easy to line up. Kind of. He's so fast. I'm oh, Lear. He's on spawn. Wow. That's insane. Okay, so the position he's getting to, chat, is you see the tip of this lantern? It's coming like here. And then he can run throw, sort of like this. But watch. So to get that lantern there, you have to walk out like here, okay? Watch how fluidly he does that after he plants. Oh, sorry, kill he takes, I shit you not, one smooth step and he's lined okay, up. I can flash. I'm flash. Watch. Done. Did you miss it? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm flashing. Three, two, one. What the fuck? Okay, okay. So what you do is you you aim up here first and you take like a diagonal strafe of like one step. To be clear, this is not a lineup in like the same sense as you call a lineup. It's yeah. That's what he's aiming to do. It's like a feel thing. So he wants the flash to hit the wall somewhere over here. Cuz notice we have a B main player. We know they're not B main. We want to pop it in such a way that the B main player is not blind. So all we're doing is we're aiming. You see this like line that comes up here. He wants to make sure he's a bit on the right of that. And then he runs throws. And you can actually get it to just pop right here. I actually think he's trying to get it to just pop right here and it ends up bouncing. Yeah, but the bounce is fine. He's throwing it fast. But you can see if you throw it correct, it actually just like it just sits there. And pops. He's prioritizing speed. His uh, speed is fine. But yeah, I'm getting it consistently. So his flash, I'm pretty sure it's slightly missed. Just a bit to the right of this. And you run. And that is a flash here. This is so situational. This is for a flash. So your B main player can peak CT after you've planted the bomb on site. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad we got one of those. Flash. Yeah, and if you throw it right, it just sits there. He threw it a bit wrong because he's throwing it so fast. Three, two, one, pop. But I think he's bounced out in a way that didn't blind um, Xander anyways. Flash right, peak left. Oh, he threw that one so lazily. Nothing about him does. Nothing. It could be in though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is in. He is. You want me to flash? Flashing. Three, two, one, pop. Okay, so they can be walked up, is what he's coming. Okay, they can be up here. And then Xander, being the Giga Smurf he is, decides to do a TP jump spot. So he can jump out real wide to check and he spots her in the smoke that's that's what's going on and they it's crazy these guys are way too good like both of them recognize that that's a threat and so they clear it so carefully so now he has to change the flash because you'll note that this flash here it pops here but this reina might be there she might be over here all the ready past the flash and so we see he just comes over here to throw like a different flash that pops over on flash this bait. side to blind anybody close. I'm gonna just walk up that. I'm gonna flash this for you here, Reyna. All right, killed her. Flashing. I think we just. Man. I'm gonna just walk up that. I'm gonna flash this for you here, Reyna. All right. Flash bait. 
Yeah. This one's easy to line up. Shift lock? No, I'm running. Let me try shift lock. No, I'm pretty sure it's run throw. It's definitely run throw. Okay. So imagine that there's a box formed here. Put your crosshair in the center of that box. They might have pushed through it. Yeah, yeah, top mid. Go, 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 take this, take this. Don't close the door. Two, two, yeah, yeah, two. Wait, that was a yeah. You guys one enemy remaining. Ow. Nice. Oh. Damn. Boom, baby. <laughs> okay, that one I win. How do you get a better sense of using which tech lineup for when? Um, okay, so if you're below a mortal, this is way too much. Way, 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 way too much. I I would probably just learn one rollout for A, one rollout for B, and then just play the game. So like I'm down for you to learn the rollout where you like nade tree flash high and knife sight beyond that like you really just need to be playing um valorant like you should focus on refragging your teammates at a tight timing good comms mid rounding this is too much shit. just throw smokes when we go and i'll molly mark it here flashing sight three two one pop Wait, wait, I'm watching this guy, boy. Damn, he's so fing dialed. He's so dialed. Look, so we're in a 2v2. And instead of letting Xander just swing, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Watching this guy, boy. Bam. Unless they're close here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Do you know the only reason they can crouch peek this is because the smoke is thrown the wrong way and it's because Sabroza is filling onto smokes. They can only do this play because Sabroza doesn't know how to throw the smoke the correct way. Yeah, so anyways, the smoke Sabroza needs to throw actually looks like this. I want you to see how low it is. Okay. And I want to see... Look at the smoke that he did throw. You see the difference? And this is why I tell you guys not to fill. Because even one of the best players in the world, Sabroza, who's hit rank one, doesn't know how to use the util of this agent correctly. He doesn't realize there's nuance here. And Xander recognizes immediately because Xander smokes main. And you'll notice that Xander just goes to crouch peek it. Cat, you cat. Gentlemen, you take this face. Unless they're close uh, here. Lock in. Lock in. Let's yeah, go. yeah. Bam. No problem. Uh, anyways, the I'll explain how I threw it. So Omen Smokes have this unique property that when they fall to the ground, they they land a bit above it and they stop for whatever reason. The center of the smoke is actually like here. So if you place it on the ground, it'll just be a lot lower. You see? I don't know why. That's just how Omen Smokes work. And so when you place this one way, if you place it up here and it falls onto the ledge, then it's going to be really high. You see? It's going to be really high because you let it fall on. And so these guys can actually just like crouch and look, I can see this line, no problem. So when you throw this one way, instead of letting it fall down, you need to bring it all the way down until it's barely touching the edge. And then you throw it. And now you'll notice that if I go to crouch peak, nothing, nothing. And I can still see. One more, close, close, tree door. Flashing, three, two, one, pop. I'm Molly, Jen, 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 Molly. Last two, last two there. Heaven, heaven, heaven. One enemy remaining. Okay, there. Damn. Okay, wait, wait, I can nice. Just wait, just wait. Don't walk up yet. I've been throwing this night. Dude. He is so careful. So he's telling his teammates not to walk up B main yet because he's going to throw the knife. Because um, there's this annoying threat of somebody walking across. Now, it tags Sova. And so Sova's probably not walking across. Um, So I'm guessing they're not gonna be worried about it Sova, that's it you can walk up you can walk up yeah see he says you can walk up because like Sova wouldn't be crossing 
If he attacks Silva, it's because Silva's playing lane, like here or something, to spam with Odin. Silva's not crossing into B main. Silva's don't do that. I mean, maybe Sinatra does, but you can see we're not as worried about it. I don't know where. Damn. Fighting the side guy. Damn, Sinatra's this patient? No, oh, no, he was walking out. I was about to say. He's like laying under. I feel like Asuna could have metagamed this. Because Sinatra's not a patient player in solo queue, it's I think it's possible to have the read that he's doing this. I wouldn't have had the read. I'm not I'm not trying to say it that way. Fighting the side guy. Sinatra's not the type to just hide backside. He's like laying under. Anyways, note here. This is very important. So we're five stack B main. Okay. We make contact. And when you're five stack like this, you have to commit to your hits because you can't really reset because you've given up all of the map. Okay. So I want you to notice that Jet comes out and unfortunately we get cut off. Bam. The Jet goes out. She fights. She dies. We get smoked off. But notice nobody on this team even thinks twice about it. They don't leave. They don't wait behind this smoke. They know that the enemy team's rotating and we don't have time. And so the moment that Molly's gone, we're out. Because we have to be. Because we've lost the round if we're not. Wait, you have dirt? Can you dirt? dirt on I blinded, I blinded. Spike down mid. Three here, I think. Oh, oh, mid. Right now, also. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, is this not Omen Phil Diff or what? Like, look, look, look. Three here, I think. His flash is too low. <laughs> Damn, he knows that. Okay, so it's probably Sinatra who's heaven. Sinatra rotates heaven. Yep, there he is. Um, so he's trying to bait Sinatra's peak, but Sinatra knows that he's trying to bait his peak. So Sinatra's not peaking. <laughs> 30 seconds left. And now notice he's not going to swing where heaven is exposed again, because Sinatra is going to be up there high, low with the Reina. So he's hoping that the Reina swings past. Because it's solo queue. Dude, one okay. All right, all right. Playbooks locked in. We're going to watch the rest of the VOD for funsies. Maybe we'll see some more tech. But I think we pretty much got it. Okay. Moment. Four, four. So here he tags four. And so let's just play Thinker's POV right now. Where's Killjoy? Do we know? Do we know where Killjoy is, chat? Pop quiz. Well, of course you could be main. Tiles? Top mid or tiles? Yes. So the answer is we don't know. We don't know. Because she could be tiles. That's a known play. And she can be top mid. That's a known play. She's more likely tiles walking across. This is a bit more likely. But we don't know. They can't come out. Be like, uh... yeah, they're, not out. they're two hours in the VOD. He plays oh, multiple that... games. It's a stream VOD. Oh, he's out. Oh. Okay, so notice he's in no rush to come out here. Not just because he's blind, because nobody's alive on site. You see? So we're still just looking for Killjoy. Killjoy's dead. Can you show, can you show, can you show, can you show now? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, nice try. He calls chill and he went for around the world. Yeah, it's B, it's B. I won with Marco. I, I have to hold my spawn. Yeah. You smoke B man when you have. Okay, so the reason he has to hold his spawn is because the jet has threatened that in the previous round. Yeah, and they weren't committed to the B hit yet. Watching above you, Xander, once. Pop. Wow, what is that routing? One's gonna be late cap. Updraft dashed into a smoke on the double box on site and waited in it. Come cap, come cap. Pressure Xander. <laughs> Fuck. Break door, break door, break door for me, break door for me. Dude. 
break door for me so they don't know I'm on this side? Has to be fucking genius. Because look, she's planting because she hears them breaking the door but knows that they're... The last two there, last two there. Chill, relax. Let me go flank. Let me go flank. You guys stay. That's fine. That's fine. Chill, relax. Let flank. me go flank. You guys stay. You're good. You're good. Just chill. Let me take next. Wow. Wow. This is actually the most insane round I've ever seen. Like, they're not going to... Yeah, he gets a free kill. He whiffed. That's statistically a free kill. He got four bullets off. Fuck, man. I mean, I don't. Oh, Sinatra's just win that too fight. clean. Yeah, Asuna has to win that fight, dude. He wins that fight. He played it actually a perfect round of Valorant. I guess maybe I just... Wow, I want to watch this back. Just... So watch. So here he rushes out to play with Xander because Xander's stuck on site. So he rushes out to play to hold. Okay, he comes out, gets the trade. Very important first kill. But now he can't hold the site. Xander's already dead. We're 70 HP. So we cancel, right? We're like, okay, bad. Can I for some info? Just no so far. D, this is so heads up. Come cat, come cat. He calls Killjoy over cat too, so they can double clear it. He's going first because he's lower HP. Break door, break door, break door for me, break door for me. This is crazy. And now there's like no fight he can get that's advantageous because he's 70 Chill. HP. Relax. Let me go flank. Let me go flank. You guys stay. Bro. That's fine. That's fine. He can't. This is, this is actually criminal. This is criminal. He's looking tree. Okay. Sofa's looking tree. We barely miss. Damn. Oh. Sinatra is so fast. Is we aren't you there? No, he missed. He missed. No. You can see them all taking this crouch peek on this smoke, dude. Take, 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 take. Flashing high. This has to be one of the most missed thrown smokes in the game. I'm reloading. Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Don't worry. Third destroyed. Blank, blank, blank. Dude. Okay. So he knows Sinatra is going to come heaven because Sinatra always comes heaven. And he just comes heaven on Sova. He's got the shocks. Okay, so he's holding the have Sova. Your, have your heaven. And he knows Reyna's missing. I'm reloading. Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. He sees these shocks. He's like, where's Reyna? Drone doesn't see Reyna. And so instead of planting here, where he'd be exposed to main, he comes over here where he'll have closer cover. Don't worry. Third destroyed. Fight, fight, fight. Damn, he comes over here because he knows they might be flank. You're good, you're good. It's the best yo, plant yo, as yo, well yo. now. Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I'm picking off Killjoy. In this scenario, it definitely Killjoy is because they have no smokes. Just hold, just hold, man. Just, oh, just hold, just hold. You're good. Just do whatever the f you want. Just, I'll move you. I'm with you. Alright. So that's just so good. One suppressed. Flashbang. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I have you, Killjoy. Just 35, 17, and 22 on. You can stay up. <laughs> He's rubbing his hand. Look at him, dude. He for 100 I can't answer that, we're buying a lot. Of, wow. 35, 17, and 22 on the KO. Tony, do you see this? He's ready to game. Flashes for y'all. He's in flow state, dude. This min routing is actually insane. I like that. Feels like a B. Go, 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 go. Odin's fan B. No, I whiffed the 63 on Killjoy, 42 on Omen. Back sight. Speaking right. Thanks. The one tree. Hold the. Oh. Oh my god. Shadows. I'm walking out lane. I'm walking out lane. TP across. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got you. Playing default. I'm walking out. I'm walking out. 
He's only allowed to say TP across, by the way, because it's his duo, Xander. And they know each other. And they've pre-established... Like, he knows Xander doesn't mind the micromanaging, okay? Don't do that to your solo queue teammates. Uh, but yeah, pro players will micromanage each other a lot. Um, because they're all of the understanding that they're playing to win. Um, so it's fine. Like, if... I believe... Yeah, Sentinel's dropped uncensored recently. And you'll see, like, Zelsis is micromanaging everyone. Like a f*** ton. And that's fine because they're like, Players you know, standing. a team yeah. and they've decided to do that. Don't do that with your solo queue teammates, please. You did it with Xander, it's different. Damn. I used to stream in the living room and people would be like, what's that noise, Ooge? Your mic is bugged, Ooge. Like it's a vacuum. Okay, wait, kill this guy and I'm gonna kill the other guy. Kill. Oh, the guy's on site. <laughs> Look at this. Holy fuck. They're worried about me being on site. Okay, so he realizes that there's probably one dude heaven right now. Okay, so he wants to get two. But in order for him to get two, he'd have to shoot this guy, turn, break the glass, peek, and shoot the next guy very quickly before this next guy reacts. So instead, he has his buddy shoot the Reyna so that he can break glass and peek instantly to save, like, I don't know, 100 MS. Okay, wait, kill this guy, and I'm gonna kill the other guy. Kill. You see? So that way, any Heaven player wouldn't have time. They'd have less time. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, guy's on site. He is his flow state right now. You cannot change my mind. Like that. He's actually treating this like a pro game right now. Look at this, dude. Look. Now it's time to determine if the jump was intentional. So he knows Sova can come out this trade. No, no. He got an accidental jump input here. This is not big brain. That jump is not intentional, but it wouldn't be bad, which is why I wanted to check. If he like knew Sova was going to trade, it can be all right. But no, nah, accident. Wow. I have to be the dumbest player in the world. You can right click KO Molly. I think I'm the stupidest player in the world, chat. I don't think I've ever seen anyone right-click KO Molly ever. <laughs> Look, chat, would you rather I lied and pretended like I knew everything? You can't make fun of me when I admit I don't know something, okay? Because it's healthy to admit when you didn't when you don't know. Wow. How about that? How about that? I genuinely didn't know. I didn't know, man. I've even I played this guy in Radiant. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god, he's getting fucking tagged. They're coming okay, out. Wait. Oh, no, no. Okay, wait. Peak uh, short. Peak shallow on the heaven guy. Three, yeah. two, one. Last player standing. One enemy remaining. One point. Yeah, one point. That's all you got. Wow. Tell me, bro. That's all you got. Tell me. One forty. He's actually oh. so dialed. You don't know how much confidence was inspired in how much confidence I had when you said 140. Ah, down. Speeding up, speeding up. No, no, we have B main. Don't, don't fight. Oh, oh close to me, close to me. Well, oh, it's one market, one B main, one cat. I'm leaving cat guy. Wait, he's actually entering pro mode. He's actually, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he just made a bad solo queue com. He just said close to me. Is Scrim Asuna is fucking leaking right now. He, he's get you can make a com like that in scrims because everyone knows where you play. <laughs> that Reyna getting three is not not good. Last player standing. Wow. Okay, so let me explain here what we watched. So dropping onto the Silva, this makes sense. Okay. This makes sense. But now he knows Killjoy can peek from two options. And so he starts backing up. And this makes it makes sense. Like I would back up. Most Radiant players would back up. I'm just pointing it out because this type of awareness is holding a lot of you back. 
Because I see a lot of you not back up like this. And the idea is, of course, he needs to eliminate this threat because crosshair placement is king. And now our crosshair is on the threat. All right. Because if we get peaked here. Now he does get peaked, but he's able to back up. And you see it here. Notice our crosshair is not on her. So we don't fight. We unswing. We need cover because our crosshair wasn't ready. Pushing left gen be possible? Um, yep. But I think it's very coin flippy if you push left gen. Because notice how far you are from this corner. Let me draw this in paint for you so you understand why I don't like pushing left gen. Okay. So here's Jen. Okay. Here is us. Okay. We just got a kill. And now let's represent these distances in time. Okay. Let's say that this is three second trip. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it is. Okay. The problem is Killjoy. We don't know how deep she is. And so if Killjoy's here, her trip time to this spot is less than three seconds. We can call it two seconds, which means Killjoy will get here where she can shoot us in the back before we're around the corner. You see? So if we play ring around the rosy from here, then we don't make it around this corner before this guy gets right here. So that's why I don't like pushing. Pushing would make sense if we knew Killjoy was here. If we knew Killjoy was perfectly opposite of us, and we're chilling. Mistake for Killjoy to fight him? Ah, uh, not really. No. Because um, he doesn't know which side she'll peek from. Flashing. Pop. I have Evan. No, no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, you mean that's one, okay. No, and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss calm. He's saying in the tree smoke. I no, 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 no. thought he meant in the side smoke. He's about to get a 4k. Yes! 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 We win! Let's nah. Go! Nah. Okay. So this is the important part right here. After this kill, this the jet throws. The jet throws on accident. She gives him a window that he takes. So Jet's got this line right now, which means Asana is stuck in this box. Okay. He's stuck in that box, which means our players heaven are completely safe. And so they come out immediately. Um, Sinatra's coming over here to try and play with Jet. And the other dude is getting on the bomb. The problem is Jet should just hold down spray like right here and fight. Commit to this fight. Because she unswings on her left. She needed to unswing to her right if she's going to unswing this way. If Jet unswung the fight this way, then she's chilling. Because notice she's defending the diffuser still. But because she unswings this way, she gives Asuna this window to peek out past her and take the fight immediately on the bomb diffuser. Okay? So that's the error. This Jet had to swing this way. That's it. She does that, and I don't think Asuna can win. Because if she swings out this way and just crouch holds right here, Sinatra is good enough as he jumps down he'll see that and he'll just come and hold with her like this high low and they'll win like they wouldn't even have to come i know sinatra would do this he's very good at the game and so if jet just took a step this way instead they they win but you see she steps left and asana immediately is like oh bet and that's why he gets this free kill on these two the jet just threw the whole round and the reason why these two were free kills is because they trusted jet they trusted their teammate because that's how you play valorant you trust your teammate um it almost it's always better on average. This round, it just happened to not be better. But like, Sancho's jumping down because he knows it's fine. He's going to come over here or whatever. But unlucky. Jet diff. And that's game. That's game. That's a crazy VOD. That's a crazy VOD. Hey, Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.